is what it looks like going into town. Empty. We have a propel. We have a bag of M&M's and some nuts. We have a big bag of trash. Breakfast is pretty sparse. But we only have eight miles. We are, and what are we doing? <laughs> Perch Creek Explorers and we are through hiking the AT. These are two very, very brave or insane <laughs> parents. <laughs> I think it's brave. <laughs> I agree. Family of eight. Not insane. <laughs> and have we hiked all the way from Springer continuously? Yes. yes. We started in September and have made it all the way to here. So they have hiked over 1,500 miles. So anybody who complains about getting all their kids to soccer. <laughs> all righty. Well, have a great hike, guys. Thank you so much. Great meeting. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Good morning. Today is Sunday. The something of June. Maybe the 26th, 7th, I don't know. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. 27. And we are leaving Glenbrook shelter area. And that was quite nice. We did our first time sleeping on a platform. What did you think about that? What? Sleeping on a platform. I felt a little bougie. Yeah. We felt like we were in first class. Um, turned out it was good that we got there early because that place filled up. The bubble is catching us. There's not a darn thing we can do about it, but that's true too. Um, there were day hikers as well. Uh, but it was all in all really nice. And now we're hiking the eight miles into Great Barrington. Um, it was fun to chat with the Perch family again. And, uh, one of the kids... I think it was Abram came up to me and said, when we were going over those cliffs, Abigail says, what will the vintage people do to get over this? Which I thought was hilarious. So anyway, off we go. I'm starving. Town food is in order. Is in order. Anything to add? Mm, my pack's really light. Yeah, we have no food, so we have to go to town. We have no choice. Well, we've come upon a view. It says it's to the northeast. Kind of hazy. It is humid. Very humid. Rich is using Peak Finder. He's going to tell us what we're looking at. Maybe. Maybe not. Mount Greylock. Mount Greylock? Which yeah. one? The big one with the notch in it? Oh. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, no. No? It's the, 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 the closer one with the notch is Mount Greylock, I think. With the one we can't really see? Yeah, yeah the one behind is not coming up for some reason. Okay. Well... We'll get better at this. We are getting ready to come to Mount Bushnell. And then there's like Jug End. And then in the next 2.2 miles, we go down like 1,200 feet. Um, once we do that, I think it's going to be pretty much cruising. There's pastures and fields. Um, but yeah, my favorite. Downhill, plunge to your death. <laughs> this is Mount Bushnell. Um, summer view is not as good as I'm sure the winter one would be. But you can see a little bit. It's awful hazy. It's been a really nice trail. It is feeling a little breezier and cooler. We started out, it was whew, very, very, very humid. Um, we have come just a little over two miles and we're about to be to Jug's End. Um, and between here and Jug's End Road, which is like 1.3 miles, we're gonna go down 928 feet. So, not exactly sure how they're going to get us there that fast, but I guess we're going to find out. That up there? No, not fun. Not at all. Um, pine needles on rocks can be very treacherous, especially if they're wet underneath. Well, no wonder that was so hard. We were already down to where we only have to go 167 more feet. And we had like 927. <laughs> It seemed like we went down that far, although it seemed quite treacherous. Uh, it, it didn't seem like we went down that far. We were like basically sliding down the mountain. Uh, what seems to happen is when it gets really humid like this after a hot day, the rocks just sort of sweat. And then there were pine needles and there was drama, but we're down and that's good. And I think after Jug's End, I keep saying that, but I think it's supposed to be a pretty easy trek. This is absolutely beautiful. This is the view from Jug's End. Um, it's a little hazy, but still quite nice. Um, Rich is looking at Peak Finder. I don't know if he's finding anything interesting. Not really. 
I mean, you can see the mountains off two, three layers thick. Um, we have come almost three miles, so we have about five miles till we're till town. So I came down already. Rich is gonna come down. Um, that's the top of Jug's End, and you gotta work your way down. Um, I don't know. I actually made a good decision and faced the rock and came down that way, which I haven't ever done before. Um, trying to practice for New Hampshire. It sure is pretty up here. I turned around because my legs are shorter than yours. They went. Go ahead. It's on. Oh, that that's is that how you treat things? Well, I can't use them, so. Yeah, I held on to mine. See, as Mrs. Perch pointed out to one of the little perches, if you face in, when you fall, yes, when you fall, you fall forward, not backward, out. So yeah, trees handily. I found some trekking poles. Oh, look at that! In just the perfect time. So now, rumor has it, pretty soon we'll be down as far as we have to go. But I think we have a little minute yet. Spoke a little till soon on about, thought we were pretty much down. Yeah, no, we're not. But these are kind of, they have texture. And you can usually get down things with texture. Um, I just did a cinematic band. This, this. That's Tom Bald Mountain. Tom Bald Mountain? Which you one? The one over there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we have six tenths of a mile to get to Jug In Road. And we still have 530 more feet to go down. So the name of the game today is Descent. Um, some of it's been a little tricky, but for the most part, if you just use your head and take your time, um, you can get through it. It's getting steamy. We have made it to Jugs End Road, and in 3.4 miles, we came down 1,425 feet and went up like 404. Um, what was the conversation we had about this? It's hard. Well, and that we're glad we did not try to push on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, the, you know, it, it's not all miles are created equal, and um, it's really pretty, and it was fun for the most part, but it wasn't anything you could do fast. Um, I think now it will be a lot quicker, but we didn't need that yesterday on top of everything else. I'm really glad we made the choices we did for a change. Well, this is a nice payoff. We're walking in this beautiful forest with pine needles under our feet. Um, nice shade, and we're discussing which way to go into town. Well, they said there was water in point one, and they meant it. I guess there's a hose there if you need it. I don't know if we need it, though. Get ready to walk alongside this field. So, the site of the last Battle of Shades Rebellion. And it's got all the interesting details. And there is the mark. And six days out of the week, there is amazing trail magic here. Uh, according to a post in Gut Hook, there's hot dogs, hamburgers, all kinds of good stuff. Guess what day? It is not today. Sundays, no trail magic. Uh, so timing in life is everything. But any other day of the week when you come through, you're going to have a treat. Um, we are seven and a half miles in, so... We're getting close. I'm soggy. And my Instagram is soggy treks. <laughs> I do this because I can't remember by the time I get to the hotel. Cool. We're coming up on Route 7. We just had a conversation with Soggy, who's a section hiker, uh, just starting out and heading south. And he told us that we need to stick our thumb out and try to hitch into Great Barrington. So if we actually do that, it will be the first time ever on the AT <laughs> and I can't remember the last time I ever hitchhiked in my entire life so uh this could this could be really great or really hilarious we shall see omg I stuck my finger out and we already have a hitch so how long did it take us to hitch 
27 seconds. Ha! I'm sure this will never happen again. Really nice guy. He was gonna move stuff in the back. We said no, we smell. Put us in the back. This is our trail angel who took us into town. What's your name? Keith. Keith, that you saved our lives. Yeah. And my first hitchhike maybe ever in my entire life. Well, well my mom's <laughs> from Lake Lavelle Town over and she's had a lot of people come over for spend a night on the trail and all. She had just one couple come over to his birthday. She was gone in the morning, woke up, I went to visit my mom. Just, Nobody's here, there's a birthday cake made for me on the kitchen table. I said, oh, probably yours. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Town food. Yes, we both need to eat a lot of calories because we're losing weight. Hiker track explosion, main area, fridge, microwave, um, little charging device on one side of the bed, which is nice. Um, we are overlooking the train tracks. Choo -choo. Yeah, not sure how that's going to work out. We'll see. Um, bathroom, got a tub, pretty much all you need. So... Time to get clean. Treating everything with permethrin. Um, it's the season. We couldn't get the stuff we normally get, but we at the Outfitters here in Great Barrington, they had small cans. So we're gonna prioritize clothing. Hi there. Um, it's actually Monday the 28th. 7.01 oh. p.m. Yeah, we uh, decided to do it two day or. Yeah, um, because of the zero. Right, we got up yesterday and Came out of the shelter and hiked down through Judd down Jugs. Is, down is the key word. It was, it was pretty. It was pretty intense. We yeah. were both super glad that we yeah, didn't try to go on. It was fun. A lot of scrambling and crawling down over rocks and stuff like that. It was a little, a little twicky. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we both said that it's just more experience for when we get up in New Hampshire. Yeah. Little did we know that we were going to run into a ridge runner. Yeah. We, um, we got to the bottom. At the Rebellion Monument. Yeah, which was cool. I stopped, took a break, took my pack off, sat down, breathed for a little while. I was tired. And then this this guy came over and started talking to us. There's and, two guys. Yeah, but the right? one guy was talking about, he had okay. through hiked in 2018. Were, were, were they both ridge runners, those guys? I think the okay. older gentleman definitely was, and I think the younger guy may have been just starting. Okay. Because he didn't have any kind of unit. Well, I, I saw the one guy, he was making notes when right. we were having a conversation, so... Right. But anyway, he said that this was kind of like the mini whites and that it was, yeah. if we could handle it, we'd be fine in the whites, which made us feel really a lot more confident than we had been. Yeah. Um, he said that the whites were, of course, taller. And, um, but he said, by and large, they weren't as steep as the stuff that we've been climbing the last few days. So that was cool. So then we came out and came to the road. And based on Soggy's advice... I very, very tentatively stuck that thumb out, but... She made a face on it. Yeah, I was, like, terrified. But yeah. it was... I mean, everybody we've talked to has had no trouble getting rides into town, which no, is great. No, the guy... Everybody around here has been really nice. It's a very hiker-friendly little town. Right. It's not a cheap town. No. Stuff's expensive. Yes. Although, we went to dinner tonight at Baba Louie's and had a great dinner for 35 bucks, 36 bucks. Yeah, so it wasn't bad yeah. there. But, so, um, Slow Jam and Crawler here as well, and we all decided to go down to the laundromat and big why to get our groceries and at some point rich and i decided you know carl's like hey let's take packs for our groceries We're like yeah it's a good idea so right. rich grabbed his pack and i set down the laundry assuming he was going to put it in the pack and he assumed i was carrying it and we got to the laundromat and our laundry was a mile what a mile uh, behind us eight, <laughs> seven eight tenths of a mile <laughs> So Rich had to come back and get it. Yeah, it, I needed to walk more. I hadn't been walking on it. So, yeah. So, but, um, excuse me. Yeah, we got it done. Running around in my rain gear, sweating to death. Um, got our groceries and came back. And then today, we ate a lot. There was a lot of food consumed. But we, you know, got the rest of the chores done. Yeah, we got our food pretty well packed up. Got our uh, bags ready to pack in the morning. Um, yeah. Got our, oh, last night. You know, it's this hotel is <laughs> oh, right on the train yeah, wow. tracks. And we were like, gosh, we wonder if we're going to hear the train. Well, we never heard the train. No. So we go to bed. And what was it, like 930? Yeah. That train came through. Choo-choo, baby. And the we building heard... was shaking. Yeah, it was a, really a heavy weight. <laughs> Something trip. fell off a shelf somewhere. Kaboom, right? <laughs> that thing was moving, too. And it was heavy because it was shaking the crap out of it. And building. we were like, oh, no, this is going to wake us up all night. But it never happened again. No, uh, another one just went by a few minutes ago. So there was 
Still. We've only seen two trains go by the whole time. Right, and we've been, been here, here since noon yesterday, and that one didn't make near as much noise. No, it was as bad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but so tomorrow we're heading out in the heat. We're just gonna try to go um, thirteen miles. It, it looks like we're gonna have four kind of crappy weather days ahead of us, um, and then after that, around the fourth uh, area, the weather's gonna turn around. It's gonna cool off, and it's gonna be really nice for a period of time. We should get some really mild, more seasonable type, Hopefully. actually below normal weather. The high in a few days is going to be in the mid 60s, which compared to the mid 90s, it's it's probably going to be chilly. Right. You know, um, when we get up to uh, Vermont, uh, we have a, a, a trail angel that's going to be helping us a little bit. We're going to get our uh, cold weather stuff sent back to us, and uh, we're probably going to need another pair of shoes by then because between four or five hundred miles on our shoes and half of Pennsylvania, man. We, Pennsylvania's a shoe record for sure. Yeah, but um, Rachel, thank you so much. She's given us her, her dress so we can have all that stuff shipped ahead. Yes. Um, crap, there was something I was going to say, and I don't remember what it was. It must not have been too important, huh? Well, that's the, the, <laughs> the wizardry of video editing. <laughs> we can stick it in there. Oh, I know what it was. Oh. We're going to carry four days of food. Um, and we've kind of got it planned out. We've sort of loosely got it planned out all the way through going up Greylock. Yeah. Um, a little worried about the fact that it's going to be a 4th of July weekend. Yeah. But. I uh, actually uh, did a little experiment with the Talente cup to figure out how much water I had to put in there to cold soak a couple of packs of uh, instant uh, Quaker oats. Um, I got that nailed down pretty good. So I'm going to start cold soaking a lot more uh, going forward just to try to save some fuel and some weight uh, because it's hot like this. I mean... We're not even making coffee in the morning anymore. We're just putting instant breakfast and some coffee in, in the Talente and giving it a shake with cold water and drinking it down because... But I'm not ready to part with the stove yet. I'm carrying it. No. I'm keeping no, it. No, she's, she's not ready to let it go, but, and that's fine. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sure, but, you know, we'll have some... It's going to get... Well, it's just, you know, sometimes you... I it not just... Don't it it just... The, that little bit of... That small canister of fuel and that little pot and that stove just... It doesn't... just doesn't weigh that much. You know? Right. So anyway, off tomorrow into the great world again as early as possible. We'll have to hopefully get another hitch. So uh, yeah. I got all the videos uploaded up till tonight, so that's good. Yeah, good. This and is the only one. We had some really great internet at a couple places. We had uh, lunch and dinner today. Um, so that worked out good. The, the upload speeds were wicked fast. And yeah. Restaurants. And as always, thanks for watching and your comments. See you, kids. Night. <laughs>